Hello and welcome back. I hope uh, that it's going to work today. Uh, not sure, but my internet seemed fine today, so let's try it. Um, today we're going to work on simplifying the Docker Compose setup because I get a lot of questions uh, asked about it and I don't actually have the time to like answer the same questions over and over and over again. And I think a lot of it has to do with lack complexity. So we will remove complexity, but first um, we're going to look at a pull request. Um, right, we're going to look at this one. PolaroidKit already um, told me that it's, it should work, at least it does on his machine. And um, yeah, we're going to check this out, and if we f and we are going to look if we find something or not. Um, all right, so let's go to our front end. All right, and we are on the branch proxy because I reviewed something different, right? So let's check out. The pull request 66, 62, all right. <coughs> 62, and we call this uh, RTK because we're using now React Toolkit. And uh, yeah, let's see if this works out. RTK. Very cool. Okay, so let's go to. Libre photo docker. Let's start that up. And then we can also just restart it immediately so that I get some logging. All right. Local hosts, bad gateway. Um, yeah, I think I can explain the issue we currently have in the Docker Compose file. <coughs> so if we go to like our file here and go to environment variables, um, the first issue we have is like skip patterns, right? We can just save it as like a user setting instead of putting it here. Um, same goes for allow upload, right? Uh, the secret key, maybe, I don't know if we can do that. I would really like if this just disappears. Um, the map API key, uh, I think heavyweight process would also be fine as a variable. Their default uh, min rating, I think um, we already have a default for that, right? Um, we can maybe also remove that and then we have like less variables Another thing is that log location protected media cache dir and DB location We can just put this all in one folder Which we call like config data or something and This is all the data that Libre photos needs, right? And uh, then you only have to define one path, but because I think most people do not care about this um, yeah, then as a fourth thing, username, user pass, use, uh, admin email, um, we can do like a first time setup thing in the front end when you don't have any user where you can just define your admin and user and stuff like that. Um, because like then we also don't have to define that. And then we have like way, way less uh, variables, right? and then it's easier. Maybe it even fits then all on one screen or the removed um, rev variables will be still um, be applicable, um, but they will be documented in our documentation. All right, so it loaded successfully, awesome. Uh, all right, I think I shut it down while it was scanning. Uh, all right, let's remove that. Um, yeah, so we already have the new 
um, the new thing, right? And I think we only have to check like a couple of actions because I don't think it, these were too many changes. So, React Toolkit, all right. I think we already have that now. Um, photo actions, right. Why was something changed here? Oh no, it's just like, um, it's just the formatting. We have like new prettier rules and ESLint rules. And now every time we change something, too much is going to be changed. So, right, we deleted the user actions or he deleted them. And we put, we are going to put now the actions closer to the store because in, in the past, like we had this action actions folder that manipulated something like in the store. And then you had to always switch between them and they were not like close by each, by each other. So now it's just like a subfolder in the store. So let's see. We have our auth selectors here, right? Um, that's probably still the same. We have our store. Okay. And then we have the user thing, right? So the user API, that's, um, I guess the endpoints we're querying. Still have to figure out what that is. And um, we were using here um, <coughs> uh, the query thing from React Toolkit. So we don't fetch things twice. Uh, we have our types here, which should be fine. And also like the types are now also like in these uh, store folders. Uh, initial state, user details, user self details and error. Right, so if we go here, we have our base URL, application JSON, yes, credentials include, all right. And then our header and stuff like that, which we get from our auth thing. And uh, yeah, that's the header. Extract rehydration info. I d I'm not sure what that means. And these are the things. Fetch predefined rules and fetch user self details. Uh, add types and sort. Okay, they're not yet typed. And then we add these um, actions here, right? User self details, datum rules. No, not. Where are they? User initial state reduces update rules. Extra reduces. User API. Okay, definitely does some magic. Interesting. Maybe we have to look up like use fetch predefined rules in order to understand what's going on. All right. So we get the data and stuff. And then we use it probably. Okay. Uh, it's complaining here. Argument of type unknown is not assignable to parameter of type string. Okay, so where is data used? Okay. And user user self details isn't a thing? Should be. Anyway, okay, that's the first thing. So I guess you just use it like that and then it magically query stuff. Okay, and user fetch user self details query is not used. That's weird. 
Um, all right, so let's see. Admin settings. That all works. Let's log out. Let's log in. Still works. Cool. Um, yeah. Still not sure how that works exactly. Um, seems a bit like magic. Or maybe we don't even use them right now. I don't know. Let's look it up. Let's go to settings. So the user gets loaded, I think. Oh, here, user API. Okay, we just use, we call the user API and then we just use fetch user self details. I see, I see. All right. <coughs> well, that's pretty cool. Then you don't have to like import multiple endpoints um, and you can just call it like that. <coughs> All right. I'm still not I'm still not exactly sure how <coughs> this thing, the fetch predefined rules gets into our state, right? Because we have user details and we have user self details. <clears throat> okay, we have here like our fetch user self details. Hmm. And we do a match fulfilled. And then we say state payload and we do this. Interesting. Yeah, I still have to look this up if I want to like use it myself. Because I still don't see where the payload exactly happens. Is it really like in here? Because it doesn't make sense if it's there, right? Because it should be by the query. Uh, but well, it's a reducer, so maybe that's why it's there. I don't know. <coughs> also, like the connection to like fetch the user details to user details is missing. <coughs> right. So. There should be like some kind of connection. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Also, this is magic. So we just use user API. So that's our defined object, I guess. Huh. And then it magically creates the endpoints that you can use like that. <coughs> so I guess it will just use that automatically. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Um, yeah, but, but it works from my point of view. It's only like two endpoints right now. And it, or like, are there more endpoints? We also have an auth selector, but I, th but I think it's similar, not sure. I mean, we can look if we still have the same bugs as before. So <coughs> we have the, the awesome bug that the store doesn't get flushed right if you log out and log in with another user. So let's look this up. Let's go to admin. Um, <coughs> allow, all right. And it's really weird, like we, 
immediately save here everything and we don't do it like in the settings page I really have to um, change that so right and we have like something like this endpoint but also for the um, initial setup page right so username email and the other stuff and then it should work right so okay right okay we still have this bug and if we like reload then it shows like no images found yeah okay so it didn't solve like any deep rooting issue yet it's probably something it probably has something to do like with the photo thing but it behaves exactly as before right and uh, that's important all right very cool i also haven't seen anything that i didn't like from the code um it's just looks good looks looks clean um All right, so I think we have done this now. We can now focus on the other thing we want to do, and that's in LibreFoto Dockers. So, um, right. We currently have like a lot of these skip pattern stuff and allow upload true and so and I think that's an easy fix so let's go to I mean these were like side wide uh, settings I guess Yeah, we have this here as a default. So I think it makes sense if we put this here like in page settings. I mean, I can change the language. English, yes, very cool. Um, all right, so we have the allow user reg registration, then we can also put there the upload stuff and stuff like that all right so and skip patterns so let's start with that um, yeah I somehow managed to upload an <laughs> image to my folder and I can't delete it because I don't have delete uh, rights which is kind of annoying uh, anyway so I think we had like allow, allow user, user model, here we go. So we have allow registration, right? And um, we will now add a couple of more of these things. Uh, ba, ba, ba. let's go <clears throat> so we have allow upload and uh, skip patterns Right, and uh, what else? Debug. No, we don't need that. Heavyweight processes. That's another good one. That's like 
a number, right? Stuff like that. All right, so we now have five of these things. Um, I think we had like the secret key, right? I don't know what it does, to be honest. What's the purpose of Django secret key? Uh, I did a few Google searches. It is used for making hashes. All right. So that's basically the salt. Okay. Um. I put this under maybe. I think I will work on the other configs for now. So skip patterns, that is an empty string. Um, allow upload is true. And uh, yeah, I think I need now the open to the side, yes, thanks. Okay, um, so save, and then we have heavy heavyweight processes as usually one. Copy and paste everything in here. Uh, so no. Okay. Very cool. Save. Retry as super user. So I don't know actually what I have to do to make it show up here. Um, all right, so the next thing is uh, a map API key. Google Maps API key, not really. All right. Okay, so I think here in the admin layout we should see um, 
these things, right? So let's check this out. Let's go to <coughs> where is it? Libra photos front end, and I think I have to switch, right? All right, so let's look in the front end what we actually did. So layouts, and then we have settings, and then we have admin page. So this dot props dot site settings. Okay. And where do we get this? Okay, I think I can close this for now. Okay, that's not used. Save. Um, fetch site setting, here we go. Okay. Go to definition. So that's just site settings. URLs, site settings as a view. Um, all right. So we currently only have get permissions, and that's just the function who can read what. Um, <coughs> so now we have also like a couple of different things. Admin page settings, here we go. Then we have the map box key, all right. And my internet is still going strong, awesome. Okay, so. Now I just have to define the keys. Allow upload. Uh, skip patterns. Heavyweight process <coughs> and map API key. All right, awesome.
and we're going to do the same here so you can edit them as an admin allow upload No. Copy and paste. And allow upload. All right. Very cool. Save. Um, so we added now all these things and now if we do that and do like a reload f5 then we should see something i, I guess so let's go uh ba, ba, ba. hello upload Site settings, here we go. So we have allow upload true, heavyweight process one, map API key and skip patterns. And these are like in, in an array, which is weird. So we're going to look at it again. Hmm, don't know. Looks fine to me, to be honest. All right, so now we have these things. Um, right, so in order for that to... Right, I, I think I will just depreciate the old things. I mean, map API key could be interesting, to be honest. Okay, um, default value Django. Get Archer, all right. Right, usually it's like something like this. So, pool inflow decimal string, date, time, date, and time. All right. Oh, I see it's. Uh, it's a package, huh? Interesting. Right, so I think the idea would then something like get attribute and that is true or os dot end I think I already did this somewhere. 
Hmm. I don't know where. Probably in views. can just use it on that. So the default is true or it is allow upload, right? Yeah. Here we go. Okay, so the whole thing is that. I think I can just do low upload, right? Okay, it's not defined. That is ugly. Save. So uh, that is one. I now have to look into the Docker things again. Where is it? Here we go. Mapbox API key. Okay, cool. Save. Retry sudo. So let's see if they still apply or not. So let's go to site settings. Okay, they stay the same because the default is already set, so they only get applied once, which is nice. And then it's just get uh, then we just um, maintain it in the um, yeah in the back end, which is nice. All right, um, I think we will now try this with the default values, right? And then I will put the part in where we edit this in the front end from the front end. Okay, so. I want to change the ENV. Okay. And we change it to 12 because new test save. Going to stop that. Okay. <coughs> Remove, start fresh. Fish CD, leave a photo, Docker. 
And then Zoto Docker Compose Force Recreate. Okay, the database got created. Okay, it's still booting up. It didn't seem to crash, which is good. Let's build the index. And now I think I'm only waiting for the front end to start. Let's look in here. Um, okay, we have site settings. Okay, and then we just <laughs> dispatch this. And yeah, I think we can just put here more fields and then that works. Easy. Easy. All right, let's log in. And I got the site settings already. False, true, one, map, API key, is it really missing? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's missing, okay. Yeah, I think I should have put something other than the default values in there. Uh, yeah, okay, so. This is a test, save. And then I will restart it again. Okay, let's stop these. Okay, I re I'm going to restart that and while we wait, I will take a short break.
All right, I'm back. So let's see if this worked. Um, reload. This is a test. Awesome. So now we only have to check if these get applied all the time or only in, at the first try, right? I don't think they will apply every time, only on the first try. Um, but I now know that these get saved as a default in there, which is nice. All right. So the next thing we, we are going to do is um, make these things editable in here. So let's go to site settings <coughs> and then I'm going to copy and paste these things. Bam. So which things do we have? We have like allow upload, which is the same as a, a allow registration, right? And then we have heavyweight process, which is a string. No, please don't. Um, right. I think I will now focus uh, um, at first at um, allow upload, right? So save. Allow upload. No allow upload, header upload. Okay, and then we go to locales, English, translation, <coughs> here we go. Okay, I think we only have to do this here, allow uploads, right, and the uh, this other stuff is not needed because it's literally the same text. Okay, save. Okay, he doesn't like that. Side setting. Save, allow upload true, allow upload false. Okay, cool. So, uh, and the default value is what? Upload false? No, it's it's true. It's true. So let's go to settings. So uh, yeah, okay, we have this issue that he thinks that that this is an array. So the only idea I currently have is that we did something wrong here in the view. So let's see side settings. Yes, all right. Ah, we added, uh, we put there a comma, which is not what we should have done. Um, <laughs> dynamically typed languages, aren't they awesome? So, okay, so we have allowed true, allow false, one, this is a test and skip patterns. Very cool. Um, 
we still don't have this in here, right? So let's check it out. Settings, site settings, right. Okay, so we're just going to add um, only site settings, right? The rest doesn't make too much sense. So this will break. Um, Safe. Here we go. Woo! So now you can change two things. Um, all right, let's test it out. We click here. And then I will reload. And if I reload, it stays there. Awesome. Very cool. Okay, so I will now remove all the stuff we have to remove for that in the back end, right? So we have allow uploads. Right, we don't need that any longer. Save. <coughs> um, and now I just have to look up that in the view. So I think I can save that. And then we're going to look up, allow, upload. Okay, put that there, makes sense. So that is And I guess I don't even need this endpoint at all because we already have site settings, right? So I can remove that. Save. These are not needed. This also not needed. Oh, okay, but I had like this ensure. Mm, I had that thing there. Yeah, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I mean, we have side settings. I think I can put this also just to side settings. That should work fine. <coughs> um, oh no, oh no, no, cancel. Let's go to views. So the CSRF token was something we needed for the upload. Um, now I'm just adding this to site setting. Site settings. Right, so that's called every time. So I can just put that here. And then I have these two things I can steal and um, can put them here save <coughs> awesome so um, then we go to upload I can remove the law photo upload I don't need these two things then 
then I have URLs allow upload. Save. <clears throat> and then if we're now reload, we should shouldn't get anything because nothing ever returns and he will just get an allow upload error. So let's see. We go into here and then find files allow upload. Cool, everything is in here. So get allow upload is now just site settings. Right, and then I just have to use a selector. Admin page store util. Cannot really clear block scope variable user self details. Site settings, man. Uh, all right, so let's just put that here. Site settings, allow upload. Save. Okay, site settings has a crash. Module on photo settings has no attribute upload. What? Okay. Ha 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 ha, I know. So much jank. Um, that is in here, right? No. Where is it? And URLs. I see. Here we go. So that is um, it called here we go let's steal that from there Five. We have an allow. We don't have an upload button. So side settings is definitely set.
So we do this query one time, right? I don't think we need that. Um, I can just use that instead. Let's yank that. Here we go. Let's do it like that. All right. Allow upload is not needed any longer. So many changes. All right, that works. And if I click now on do not allow, it immediately disappears. That is very cool. Okay, cool. So these were a lot of changes. I think uh, I will create a PR for that. Uh, like a couple of commits, I mean. Um, so let's stage all these things, stage changes, git commit, oh no, does he allow it? <laughs> all right, cool. Um, change to site settings, allow upload. Yeah. Very cool. So now we have also Libre photos, right? So and these are all the things, stage changes. Okay, cd dot dot, cd libre photos, git commit, cannot format. No! Okay. <clears throat> All right, so uh, on, yep, and then we do. Unfolding. URLs.py line 30, 30, okay. Yep. Oops, I have to at this git commit yeah um at more variables to site settings awesome Cool, so we have refactored that part. Um, I think the next couple of things will be easier. So, site setting, here we go. So we have skip, skip patterns, right? So that shouldn't be too hard. Let's go to site settings. 
Let's grab that. There we go. And these, this is called header skip settings. So need the other thing. Skip patterns, right? Text area, right? Skip patterns. I don't need that. Uh, no, name is not radio group. Name is. I don't need a name. Okay, and that is value equals. Oop. Completion on enter, I don't know. Semantic react. Yeah, that's cool. Props on change on input. Called on input, called on change. I don't know. Add-ons text area. So maybe I'm looking more for form, right? Um, form semantic react. Ooh, here we go. Control input. All right, and we don't have a placeholder. And then I only need like an on change or something. I will just use on change for now. And then I will look if I have everything. Okay. Save. All right. 
So let's head skip pattern. There we go. And here we can add our long, long texts that we had before. Um, skip patterns. ENV skip patterns, comma delimited, comma delimited list. All right, translations. Save. Okay, cool. So reload. <laughs> okay, so let's go to site settings. It looks skip patterns equals true. That's lost. That's funny. Um, okay. So first of all, value, here we go, equals true is <laughs> weird. Um, right. Okay, then I need, um, React, React, uh, send. On blur. Okay, that looks cool. And another bracket. Whoa, okay. Ooh. Here we go. So E. Uh on change enter. Okay, on key down, that is what I want to do. So, on key down, then we will set Oh boy.
Oh my god. So... Come on. Just at the state, man. Sometimes it works so well and sometimes it just doesn't. Um, okay, so I have to look up how I set the state again because I always forget. All right. Okay, very cool. Then I can do uh, this dot state dot skip patterns. And then I can do here a set state. Here we go. Oh no, oh, why is he complaining again? Mm. It's probably something in here. There we go. So I have this now. Now I only have to check on key down enter. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay, and this is also the state dot. Okay, so let's check this out. Let's see if this works. So if I broke something again, no, load. Yes, admin area, and it's down. Uh, site setting is not defined. Okay. Ah, uh, this dot prop site. Here we go. So I can now change this up and if I do an enter thing and do it like that. Then it does not work. Awesome. Why though? Uh, side settings. Well, I definitely have a true here. Okay, it said it has something to do because this didn't load. And this doesn't change after the fact, so that works. And then it saves it. Cool. <coughs> All right, so that also works. Um, now I need okay. Now I only have to change this in the back end. So let's go to settings. Skip patterns. Oh, 
Okay, it's only in here and we call it directly. All right, so let's steal the side settings again, the side config, all right. Put this in here. Side config dot Patterns, right? Okay, I think we changed this also. Nice. Then I can push that again. Let's go, come on. Plus. Plus. Git. Commit. Um, change to site setting. Very cool. <coughs> and then I have this one. Libre photo front end, front end, <coughs> git commit. Skip patterns. All right, so let's add the next field, I guess. The next one is kind of easy. That's the map API key. It's uh, very similar. So copy, paste, An API key. Oh, I also need a header, All right? Header API key. Here we go. And then I need the very long text from the environment vari variable. That is in here somewhere. Okay, cool. So let's check this out. So that also works. Now we only have to change this up to use the other API key. And how did I call that site settings? Map API key. All right. So set state. Map API key sets that like that and like that. Okay, reload. This is a test. So this also works then. Final file map box API 
here we go and we have to do the same as always um, settings here we go mapbox api but i need the other thing directory watcher site config copy let's go into here paste Map API key. All right, retry a sudo. Cool. So can now test if this works to enter. This is a test two, skip patterns, yep. All right, then I only have like one left. <coughs> but I will push this first. Stage changes. Right, and then we go back to Libre Photos, and then I only have to change this stage changes. Uh, git commit. Okay, numpy is unused. I have to remove that. Retry sudo. But I have saved this. It, oh, I forgot to add this. Here we go. Cool. Um, yeah, the only thing we have left is. Um, Yeah, the last field. Let's copy heavy weight process header header heavy weight. Right, and then I do this here. Let's go to translation. Okay, so I need the environment again. OK, 
Okay. Okay, okay, I have to save this too. Ta-da! Amazing. So, um, form field drop down, right? So, an HTML select. How do I do that? Props uh, set cool. Um, so let's check this out. Here we go. Gender other. Select, yes, and then I have options. Cool. And I don't need that. This seems kind of stupid, to be honest. But for first draft, maybe. Options is not defined, but I defined that. Oh, I think I have to do this dot options. There we go. Yep, something like that. All right. Um, don't need that. Save. Okay, I just want input type number. Quantity one, two, three. Hmm. I don't know. Um, Let's check out select and see what we can do there. Yep, I want like useful defaults. I mean that also works, but eh, you know. Okay, but first just let's take uh, the side setting, side setting. Here we go. Heavy white process. D 
default is one. So if I go to three. Oh wow, he doesn't allow me to do it. I do not like that. Okay, I think on change just doesn't work. What else does he have? Props. Yeah, I want to see select props array of okay drop down. Open, close on blur, close on change, control. On change, yeah, don't know. I honestly don't want to do it like that. We can just do set side settings, right? Um, yeah. Let's reload again and uh, let's try that. Okay, side settings, that worked. What did I send? Uh, no. Oh, come on. Heavyweight process one. Mm, okay. But I set it to two. Hello one. No properties. What? Oops. Here we go. No properties, what the heck? Console.log.
Okay. Console. Class. Alt key control. What the heck? Okay, let's narrow that down, I guess. Why? I just want that you, uh, I just want the value, man. Dot value five undefined. Okay, what the heck? So that's very weird. Maybe I have to import that? Okay, I already have. <coughs> then I will use a drop down instead. Does that work? Save. Nope. Same thing. What the hell? <coughs> okay, so let's look up a drop down where I already programmed something like that. Oh, come on. Here we go. Top menu, selection actions, that sounds about right. On click, all right. On. Oh man, oh man, oh man. <sighs> Slider would be also nice. Slider, e semantic, UI. Oh no, it's something new. All right, I will take a short break again and then we will look up the last thing here.
All right, so let's continue. Um, form React semantic UI integer. Oh man. Input. All right, um, I think I will just use an input for now. This will definitely work, I know that. And uh, I'm also kind of tired, so <laughs> I will not find the correct solution. Okay, on key down. Okay. Mm. Oh. I see. Safe. Okay, what the hell? Settings, heavyweight process is a three, but it doesn't get set. So what? Okay. That's oh, that again. All right, so let's do a five save. Network um, five. Awesome. All right, let's put this back to one. Enter. Um, yeah, so that works. We are currently have the problem like with the validation, but we can work on that. Um, our numbers react. So I can add this here, I guess. Whoop. Okay, cool. So let's check this out, F5. So, um, yeah, that's an annoying issue. So that works. Why though? Oh. 
because I did it on the wrong thing. Right, here we go. So we do this, put this here. Uh, that happens when you're tired. Yeah, it works. Awesome. If I do this, that works too. Okay. Okay, save. And then I go to oop. console, sources, elements. Okay. So, heavyweight process is a two. This should still be correctly passed, I think because dynamic typing language, A, um, yeah. So I don't think that that will be an issue. All right. Um, let's go to heavy weight processes. Right, here we go. So we use it a lot actually, that's cool. So Right, I um, have to, I actually have to save this as an int. God damn it. Um, okay, um, that's not too hard, I guess. I just have to use this. Go to settings, here we go. Um, and then I will do that, right. And that's just heavyweight process. So that works, but this will only be set once. And that part we can also use when we save it in directory watcher. No, in views, 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 views. Here we go. So so if we have this, then do that. Right. So. Here we go. Save. All right. So I will now do an F5. Ooh. Side settings. That's now a two. Awesome. So if I put now here in a three, then it should save, 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 save. Yeah. And it's now a perfectly valid thing. Very cool. Okay. So now I will go here and that is Site config.
save. All right, cool. So that should be now. done. We now only use site config. Very cool. So git commit. Oh, I have to add this of course. Stage changes, then do git commit. process change to site config heavyweight process all right and then we go to the front end get at all get commit Okay, good push. Oh no, I already pushed it. That was too fast. Uh, CD Libre Photos. Also push that. Get pull. Get push. And um, yeah, then I have to only do Libre Photo. The this thing here, right? So skip patterns isn't a thing anymore. Um, that's not a thing anymore. That belongs somewhere else. Right, that belongs here. I don't need that. And I don't need this one. I also could, could have done like default favorite min rating. Uh, um, okay, I will add this to the documentation. <laughs> um, all right, cool, save. CD dot dot Libra photo. Docker git commit remove old environment. Cool. Git push. Git pull. No, oh, the make migration command. No, this cut. Okay, push. Git pull. Git push. Hey, amazing. <coughs> All right, so now it's a bit simpler, right? Not that much, but the possible errors should be now more limited. Um, I shouldn't forget to add everything back, right? But yeah. And then if we do these things in one data folder or something and these things like configurable, then it's like very, very compact. <coughs> cool.
cool. Uh, I think I can also do that here. Save. Right, awesome. Yeah, so the the mandatory changes should be like only like four or five things. It should be like very um, small from the things you have to change. All right, cool. So that works now. Um, very, very cool. Also that we have changed this right a lot of complexity lost and it's simplified and streamlined and stuff like that yeah all right thank you very much for watching if you like this video please leave a like uh, subscribe to my youtube channel um, you can sponsor me on github sponsors so that that helps me out a lot and uh, if you found a bug leave a comment all right see you next time bye